Okay, guys, so tonight's uh, dinner is going to be a chicken etouffee. It's pretty simple to make. It may sound very difficult, but it's actually pretty easy. So first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of go through the ingredients. You can see them, I've got everything all prepared here and we're ready to go. Um, I'm going, I will post the recipe, but we've got about a cup of uh, just chopped up celery, uh, one small green pepper, two cups of onion that's diced. I have two tablespoons of garlic, about uh, two pounds of cooked chicken. And as we're going through this, I'll kind of tell you how I did my chicken. We've got three cups of chicken broth, and I can tell you about the chicken broth. And obviously, you can buy the canned or the packaged, prepackaged chicken broth most definitely. Um, got a half a cup of flour because we're going to be making a roux and I'm using the everyday blend seasoning, the pot and bean from the Cocoa Exchange and also pot and bean we're going to use the green chili hot sauce and I'm using about two tablespoons of that and just just a little bit of a tip, when you're using the sauces within the pot and bean collection, they're so thick because of the cocoa that's added and the chocolate that's added to them, it's always a good idea to kind of thin them down. You can use olive oil, you can use chicken broth, um, you can use Worcestershire sauce, whatever it is that, um, whether you're using a barbecue sauce or this, and I just added a tiny bit of the chicken broth to this just to, um, thin it down just a little bit because they are very thick. And you also want to, if you've had your sauce in the fridge, you're also gonna to wanna to set it out and let it warm up because again, because of the cocoa or the chocolate in it, it will really, really thicken up and so you wanna have it set out. We've also got um, a stick of butter and I've got some just chopped ends of green onion that we'll use for garnish and we're gonna serve it over white rice. Now I use my Instapot to make the rice. I also had made the chicken. Previously I bought a whole chicken and I cooked it in the Instant Pot under the pressure cooker setting. And if you don't have an Instapot, these things are amazing. I just got one recently and have started using it and I love it. So my chicken, 45 minutes, I had a perfectly done chicken and I pulled it out, shredded it all up, and I put it in the freezer. So I had the bags of chicken in the freezer, and I just pulled it out and let it thaw. Then for the chicken broth, I'm just using tonight, I'm just going to use the chicken broth that was from doing the chicken in the Instapot. But like I said, you can get the canned chicken broth, or you can get it in the, in the packages. And also on the garlic, you can also use the pre-chopped garlic if you want to. So I believe that's all of the ingredients, and now let's get started cooking. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, is you can see I've got the butter melting, and I'm also, back here, I'm heating up the chicken broth because we wanna add the warmed chicken broth. So I'm going to get the butter melted over low heat. I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit. Lower it down, okay. And then we're gonna start making our roux. So I'm going to start adding the flour. Whoops, I added a little more than I wanted to there. But I kinda of wanted to add it a little bit at a time. So we want it to dissolve. And for those of you who are gluten-free, I'm actually using a gluten-free flour, Bob's Red Mill one-to-one. -one. And you won't notice a difference in it. I promise you can use it just like regular flour. Get the roux going here. For those of us that don't know what's a roux. Oh, <laughs> the roux is just your, your thickening. This is your base for the etouffee. And so it's really just um, the butter and the flour. And you see we'll have a little bit of a thick, a thick paste. Here. And this is going really fast, so I want to turn the fire down on it. Okay, now if you want to add cayenne, if you like things spicy and you want to add cayenne, 
this would be the time to do it. And you could add um, to taste, maybe a teaspoon. We're not super, super spicy. I like spicy, but not super, super spicy. And the, um, as I showed you before, the pod and bean green chili hot sauce is, is spicy. So we're gonna add that in now. Okay, and we're gonna stir that around. And I want to add in my pepper. I'm gonna add that in. And let that start cooking. We're gonna add the celery. We're gonna add the onions. And I'm gonna stir in, well, actually I'm gonna kinda grind in some of the everyday seasoning blend. Again, this is just to taste. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it here. See, I'm kinda going round and round and round. And this is a really great all-purpose seasoning, to be honest with you. That's probably good for now. We can always add more. And this actually has cocoa nibs, pink Himalayan sea salt, onion, garlic, black pepper, white pepper, mustard seed, coriander, parsley, thyme, red pepper, pink pepper, and green pepper corns in it. Okay. Now we're going to slowly start adding. I'm going to jack the heat up on my chicken sock stock and we're going to start adding that in and as we add we'll stir you know I didn't add my garlic so let's add the garlic while we're at it Another ladle of the chicken broth. And just keep stirring it around. And we'll have everything really well blended when we get this all added. So you can see it's, it's um, kind of making more of, of a little bit of a gravy here. And the roux will help keep it very thick. So not counting the chopping time, about how long does it take to make this approximately? Um, I would say we're going to, well, after we get all the chicken stock in here, we're gonna let these vegetables cook about 10 minutes or so. And then we'll add the cooked chicken and we'll let that cook about 30 minutes. So if you do ahead your chicken, you know, especially like if you're gonna use your Instapot, um, get your chicken, do it up ahead of time. You've got it ready to go, you've got your broth. If you use already the pre-chopped um, garlic, you can even buy the pre-chopped onion and everything else too if you would like, but it doesn't take that long to chop those vegetables up. But if you already have your chicken done, it's very, very easy meal. So I would say you could have it on the table and be eating in an hour easily. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat up a little here as well. We're gonna add some more of our chicken broth. And you can also season to taste as you're getting this all together if you want to add more of the everyday blend, if you need to add any salt. Again, I'm just kind of letting this cook as I add the chicken broth. I'm just going to go ahead and add that in. Turn that fire off. And we're going to cook this for 10 minutes. Okay, after 10 minutes, I went ahead and added the chicken and I cooked it for 30 minutes. And 
just kept stirring it occasionally as it was cooking. I did add probably about another three quarters of a cup of chicken broth to, um, to this as it was cooking. You can kind of see the consistency here. And it's been 30 minutes now and through the magic of the video, we have the final project. So I just plated it up with some rice and sprinkled the chopped uh, green onion tops. And we're ready to, to eat. And as you can see, there's the two pot and bean products that I used in this. And we're going to use those in some more of the virtual cooking classes. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Bon appetito.